Hello guys, it's me, Jiggy Spice. Today I want to bring you guys a short and sweet video about the Greatsword and how you can get your hands on a good Greatsword right off the bat with the launch of Brimstone Sands. As you all know, you're going to be starting out at 500 expertise once the patch hits, so you're going to have to grind up your expertise with the Greatsword. Um, one thing you're going to have to do, of course, is your gypsum casts. You have two gypsum casts you can do per day, so don't forget about the infused ones. You can probably buy some of these materials now if you want to plan ahead, because they might increase in price once the patch hits. Uh, this can be bought on the marketplace. And of course your regular gypsum to craft two gypsum casts of the greatsword per day will give you a nice bump. Another thing that I'm doing is I'm saving all of my outpost rush caches. I have 156 caches right now which is hopefully gonna give me some nice bumps. They recently buffed the expertise bump you get below 580 gear, gear score. So you can get up to 14 or 15 expertise per bump uh, if I'm not mistaken. So leveling it up shouldn't be that hard. Another thing is to remember that with the next patch, all of the named items are going to be a minimum of 590 gear score when they drop. That means that if you're 500 gear score or 500 expertise with a weapon, it's going to still drop at 590 gear score, which means it can be upgraded to 600. This is for only the named items and not the, the random items. So one really good greatsword that you can farm right away is the Blackguard's greatsword. This one drops from the Spriggan boss in Tempest Heart, a Keki or something like that. The Spriggan boss, you can find him. It's the big annoying boss in Tempest Heart, but that means that you can farm him quite easily because you come across this boss quite uh, early in the dungeon, so you can just reset and farm it over and over again. I did this on the BTR and it took us probably like an hour or something before I got the sword. It's not the best sword in the world, but it has some decent stats. Got Kindly Empowered, Keen, and Trenchant Strikes. You're gonna be doing a lot of uh, heavy attacks with the Greatsword, so this is a pretty decent sword. The only downside for some is that it's gonna be a Dexterity Sword, but you might end up running 50 decks for the extra crit chance anyway. So this is one of the good ones that I can tell you. Uh, drops uh, tell you exactly where it drops from there are some weapons on the database that don't show accurate information about where you can actually get it so it's a little bit hard to kind of hunt for your your desired sword right now but i'm sure they're updating the new world database as they go along with more in accurate information about where it drops like some swords are like this it just shows every enemy in the game so if you want this uh, sword, I don't know where it's from, and probably nobody does right now. But just keep checking the New World database. It's like this one is uh, pretty good. Uh, it's also not the best sword, but you can farm this one from an open world boss in Mirkart. His name is Archmaster Focus, and he should be located there in Mirkart. So there are a few really good named items that you can farm up and they're gonna start off at 590. I think when you equip that at 500 gear score it scales it down to 560 or 570 or something like that. So it's just a good way that you can kind of start using the greatsword right away. You're also gonna have to level it up, which is gonna be, you know, annoying. So the sooner you can get your hands on a good greatsword, the faster you can level it up and the faster you can start actually playing with it. So that is pretty much all I have for today. Hopefully you find this useful and lets you get up and running and kicking some ass with the greatsword when the patch hits. I'm really excited for this patch. I think it's going to be so much fun for a lot of different reasons. Tons of new content, a lot of a new weapon and just, yeah, it's going to be make the game feel fresh and nice again, you know? So yeah, if you found this video useful at all, I would greatly appreciate it if you could take a second to hit like on the video and super appreciate it if you want to subscribe to my channel. That's all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a nice day. Peace.